WTMJ Cares, a radiothon preserving the memory of Lance Sijon, an American hero from Bayview. Sijon was a Bayview native who died as a prisoner of war after his fighter jet was brought down in dense Vietnam jungle. He was severely injured. He survived on rain in the jungle for 46 days before being captured. Awarded the Medal of Honor in large part because even as he was being tortured, he refused to break the military code of conduct and give his captors any valuable information. In that deep, dark, damp jungle jail, Lance Sijon was beaten relentlessly. His captors wanted the pilot to give them information on air bases, strategy, and fellow pilots. He wouldn't answer anything else. And so they beat him, and they beat him on his wounds. Guy Gruders was a POW for five years. He was held with Lance and heard Lance being beaten. It still haunts him. They beat him to death because he would not answer any questions but name, service number, date of birth, name, rank, service number, date of birth. Charlie Larson was Lance's best friend since kindergarten. He's not surprised by Lance's bravery. He set quite an example, and that is the reason that he is a Medal of Honor recipient. Chris Cassidy agrees with Charlie. Cassidy runs the brand new National Medal of Honor Museum. To stick to that in the face of all that pain and just uncertainty tells you who that guy is. Just rock solid character. Dan Buttrey, the president and CEO of the War Memorial Center, tells me it's critical to honor that character by restoring Cy John's plane at the Milwaukee airport. Let's help pull this together and give this man the dignity in his memory of just cleaning this up and making it much more presentable because we owe it not just to the Cy John family, but we owe it to this community because his story represents us. He was born and grew up in Bayview, Wisconsin, just outside of downtown Milwaukee. He's unbelievable. I don't think there's any man better. I really don't. I don't think there's any better hero that I could ever imagine than Lance Cy John. So part of Cy John's legacy is that F-4 fighter jet at our airport at Cy John Plaza. It needs to be painted. It needs to be repaired. That's going to cost about $50,000. With my next guest, he is Giacomo Faluca, the chairman of the board at Palermo's, the pizza company. Giacomo, thank you so much for being with us here. John, it's my pleasure to be here. I'm excited to announce that Palermo's is announcing that they're making a $10,000 match. Yes, a $10,000 match. They're giving $10,000 when you give $10,000. You know what that means. Uh, Giacomo is actually hugging Janine Sijon right now. This is an amazing moment. So if you give $100, you're really giving 200 bucks thanks to Palermo's. Yes. yes. Do it now. 414-635-5097. Please make those phones ring because your donation is doubled or, or tripled. Giacomo, thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome. But when you reached out and told us about this, we yeah. immediately wanted to help. So how are you going to help? We appreciate you helping. You always help with these sort of things. What, what's We Energies want to do? Yeah, so you reached out. You, you told us about this immediately. I, I took it to our CEO, Scott Lauber. There was no hesitation. I think this happened on the other night after and hours. It, and it happened in like 10 minutes. And he got back to me right away. So they signed off from the We Energies Foundation $15,000. Oh, my gosh. $15,000. Oh That's what we're huh. providing for this incredible uh, effort. Oh, my gosh, Brendan. That's incredible. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. 15 grand. Hey, I got to let you hug Janine Sijon. <laughs> Janine Sijon is literally in tears right here. And, uh, Brendan and Conway, Janine, we brought in grand. your cookie book yeah, recipe. Yeah, show her that. That's amazing. Right? I know it's oh amazing. Gosh, Thank you. Thank you. Right now I'm looking at John's face. Thank I have never so seen John. But what do you think, John? Oh my! I'm, I'm 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 in tears. This is amazing. <laughs> Brendan Conway, wow. We Energies, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to, to, to support this important cause. And, John, thank you for what you do as well. Janine, thank you. I appreciate it. This is so cool. This is from the 2021 Cookie Book and a recipe submitted by Janine Sijon in memory of her brother. This is super cool. It's amazing. So in 2021, the Cookie Book was dedicated in honor of military veterans, you know, those who serve us. And that's right, on page 21, because we know a lot of people collect these things, <laughs> the ribbon cookies. Um, and these apparently were Captain Cy John's favorite cookies. His mother would make them for him during uh, high school and as he was in, in Vietnam that's and through so the Air cool. Force and everything. I want to give a thank you to our listeners, our very generous listeners. About 400 listeners donated. And I'm still hearing from them today to the Lance Cy John Memorial Renovation Project. So let's get right to it. We've raised almost $80,000. So we've raised almost $80,000.
and we got a big chunk of money from Palermo's, from MMAC, and all from Marcus, of you, from We all Energies, and from everybody out there. Yeah, all of you people. When I yes. looked today, and I saw yesterday, and we were on the phones, and there were like donations coming in for ten dollars and twenty dollars from people who don't have a lot to give. That made my heart so happy. Me too. Janine Sidejohn is Lance Sidejohn's sister, and Janine is with us live here in the studio. It's so good to see you, Janine. Good afternoon. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I slept much last night. I was walking on clouds when I left here, and I had no idea until this moment what we raised. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah, and it's still coming in. Oh, my goodness. I want to ask you about you were in the room answering the phones, and every time— that people heard your voice or heard your brother's story, the phone spiked and every one of the phones rang and people couldn't even get in. There were so many people. What was it like? You got to talk to a bunch of people that wanted to honor your brother. I did. And it, it their their emotion and inspiration is, is equal to mine at that moment. We're sharing that. And so people were telling me stories of what they had gone through, those who had served in Vietnam, those who had lost someone in Vietnam, and they got so emotional when they said, you're, you're, you're a Cy John. I, and so, you know, the calls are, that we pick up are random, and they were just so incredibly inspired by Lance and told me how they would drive past the plane all the time and how much it meant to them. I always looked at it, and it goes, like, up in the air like it's about to take off. And I didn't realize how much attention to detail you have to – how it was even pitched in the air. Well, every single thing was thought through, that's for sure. And so it took me about 10 years to get that moved and the plaza built. And I went to contractors all over the city and they all responded and it was incredible. So when we decided to put it on that pylon, that mount, I had said, is there any way we could point it toward the Saijan family home and the angle at which it would need to be to get over there? So that's what we did. And that just that... When we lived in um, Bayview and when the planes would go over to go to Mitchell Field, my mom, long before Lance was gone, would get so excited. She loved the airplanes going over the the house. And so I thought, Mom, this is for you. We're going to put it right over the the house that we had in Bayview. So it was it was such a labor of love. We also put green lights in the back seat of the aircraft. So at night, when you go past it and you look at that, that's where Lance sat. That's what it would would have been his position, and so he was controlling. Uh, he was in in essence the engineer in the back. So the green lights that would reflect off that would have what it would have looked like. So we made sure that we got a green light back in there. Also, when I traced the tail number of that aircraft, I traced it back to that aircraft's life, and it was at Da Nang Air Force Base when Lance was there. So there, it is probably something that he flew as well. That's incredible. That's that's in, that's incredible. I'm I'm stunned. Wow. And mm-hmm. now we're going to renovate it and repaint it. So here's the deal. We're still taking donations at least through the weekend. If you want to text the word Lance to 855-616-1620, Lance to that main number you mm-hmm. always hear me give out, you'll get a cool story about Lance. You'll get links to the audio that we have and some pictures and a way to donate. But here's the deal. So Janine, I'm holding in my hand the company that we're probably going to work with to repaint and renovate the plane is a company called Pro Colors in Florida. They said the original quote for the plane was $28,000 to do what we need to to fix it. Right off the top, the guy I talked to, I talked to Andy Bishop. He said, I'm going to knock off almost $1,000 because I just want to do this. So I'm going to reduce my profit and all that stuff. If you run a company and you have lift equipment or you can provide the paint or you want to provide lodging if you have a campground or the paint pole, you send me an email because if you can help us with any of that, that's going to get subtracted off, and that could be thousand more dollars that goes to the foundation instead of painting the plane. So my email is john.mercure at wtmj.com, john.mercure at wtmj.com. If you can help with any of that stuff, please reach out to me. That's wonderful. And there's so much more, even around it. I was I went there, and I really took it all in, and there's – Three, there's a big pillar of him, and it's all marble, marble benches, and even the code of conduct is is there, and it really just, I, I think that you did so well with that. Can you describe that, that sure. little plaza? Thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, the, the plane itself is on a big, what we call a pylon, and it's a... Um, cement stick we'll we'll put it that way and then it sits on the plaza and the plaza we had made as a star a white star with blue background 
to um, depict the um, Medal of Honor that he received. Then we have three stations around it that you can sit and read three different plaques. Um, one of them is the Code of Conduct. The other one is the citation for which he received the Medal of Honor. And the third one is um, talks about the headstone that the Vietnamese actually created when they buried him. It was very unusual for them to take such care of one of their POWs. And so they, they buried him, and they actually carved out a headstone. And I thought about that person that carved out that headstone because it was chiseled into sort of a limestone. I have a depiction of it in granite there. But you can read what um, that means because it's written in Vietnamese. And then I have a big... A uh, piece of uh, marble as you enter with uh, an image of Lance on that and a, a um, quote by G.K. T- G. Chesterton. Um, the true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. And right wow. underneath. That's a great that's, quote. That is beautiful. And right underneath the plane on that pylon, you it describes what the jet is. Yes. There's also one of the benches that says, do not sit on bench. Is it broken? It was, I'll oh. tell you. And um, I don't know what happened to it. I found the big piece, 500 piece pound of, of marble that was sitting on the ground next to it. I don't know what happened. But again, at that point... It's all up to me to Mm -hmm. care for that plaza. Mm -hmm. And so I was concerned about somebody getting hurt. And so I did go ahead and have it repaired just last week. Yeah, it's good now. I was just out there, too. Okay, so Janine, here's the plan, right? We're going to try to get this thing painted. The company I just talked to said they'll do it next spring or summer. They're in Florida. They work their way up to where it's chilly, and then they work their way back. Right. So next spring, summer, we're going to do this. Right. We're going to get it painted. The county has agreed that they're going to help you take care of it. They're going to mow the lawn. They're going to take care of the landscaping. They just told me that they're going to help take care of that, and we're going to formalize that. That's going to be in writing. You're going to get that taken care of. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have to worry about begging landscape companies to help you and getting out there on your hands and knees and doing stuff. They've told me that they're going to take care of that, so we're going to get that all taken care of. Before we run out of time, I want you to have the chance to thank the people, to tell people what it meant to you to have everybody pitch in and help your brother's legacy. I don't know how to raise money. Uh, That is something that I struggle with. I have a tough time asking people for that kind of help. Um, When I met with you, John, and you were so respondent and responsive and um, intentional about what you'd said, let's go to our Milwaukee people, our listeners that are going to hear this story and want to be part of it. I felt such a welling in my heart for all of these individuals that were calling in. And, and I've said to people, if you, if you cannot afford to give any kind of money donation, give us a heart, give us your spirit, give us the, the vitality to lift us and rise us so that we can find ways to make this happen. So like you said, John, when people gave $10, $20, I knew what, what, um, how tough that was for them, and that meant more to me than anything. So all of my Milwaukee people, my Bayview people, my my family and friends from outside the state that called in, I thank you so very much. I want you to tell your grandchildren, your children and your grandchildren, I was part of that. What we can do together in this time of so much controversy of differences in all of us, what we do together, how we expand that way, is, is an incredible mark to human beings to be resourceful and to continue continue to rise up. So we are struggling as we move into this time of elections. I hope this shows us what we can do, the strength of all of us together. So well said. That's absolutely beautiful. She's Janine Saijan. I thank you for your tenacity. It's admirable the way you look out for your family, the way you protect your brother. You are an inspiration, Janine. Thank Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you, Julia. You can still help us. Text the word Lance to 855-616-1620.